My microphone friend was making a point about ethics. I'm going to make a point about dependency. Does the government accept that it has purchasing power to reduce our dependency on authoritarian states? Okay. Does it accept that there are lessons to be learned from the Ukrainian war, from our economic and energy, energy dependency on Russia and our economic dependency on China? And will it, the government accept an amendment from me or from others and work with me on this? So as well as having ethics at the heart of this bill, we can also have um, the discussion of reducing our dependency on those states that would seek to harm us, be it Russia, be it China, be it Korea, uh, be it Iran, etc. Well, I, I'd welcome the opportunity to speak to uh, my honourable friend on any amendment that he uh, considers, but we'll, of course uh, look at it seriously. What I, I would also recognise the general point uh, that we have as a country, as have all our friends, realised through COVID and subsequently, uh, that it is incredibly important to really understand our supply chains, really understand where our procurements are coming from. Uh, and this bill does help us in that respect. As I say, being able to look through the entire line of the supply chain, not just at the top level, but go deep inside it, uh, making certain that we are able to stop suppliers that are affecting misconduct, uh, making certain that we actually have resilience as part of our thought process on procurement. All of those are uh, valuable aspects which I do believe are incorporated within this bill. But I'm more than happy to have further discussions with uh, my honourable friend.